mshaba marekani mshaba marekani nimefika marekani na sitaki kufanya kazi nianzishe biashara gani so uh, <coughs> sio watu wote wanafaa kwa dikwa tunatuelewane kuna watu wengi wa Kenya wako na ideas za biashara lakini due of the nature of maybe finances ama political environment ama whatever environment you want to call it bureaucracy they cannot maximize their business skills so uh, wanataka kuanzisha biashara biashara gani wanzisha marekani marekani there is no business always yazisha ukitaka kuuza mayai ya ubwa eh ukitaka kuuza pebe za kuku eh ukitaka kuuza mkia nyoka those all those businesses unaweza anza marekani but so wacha wacha tuone zile biashara ziko ni zenye mimi nimeona uh, there is no need kuja na idea mpya yes uh, ideas ni mzuri but idea already ziko unaelewa kuna kuna kitu inaitagwa inaitagwa kuna kitabu kanaitwa still like an artist au ka kitabu venye kalikuwa kana kanasema ni ati watu wenye uiba ideas unajua sasa dio shida moja na sisi wa Kenya wa Kenya mkenya akiona mtu mwingine ameanzisha kitu na yeye anataka kuanzisha lakini aanzishi ati ana make it better ana copy cut the whole idea alafu hata apeani credit so still like an artist ni ile yani the concept ya unaangalia kitu imekuwa successful alafu unaangalia how unaweza ifanya in a different way Lelewa. so yes unaweza kuja na different business ideas no problem but kuna biashara zenyewe utaona marekani ziko na zina do very well so all you have to do ni ni uangalie ni nini hizi biashara wanafanya vibaya na uanzishe yako na utakuwa very successful so wacha kwanza tuone Americans ni nini wanapenda wanapenda kukura everything utaona ukikuja marekani the portion of food is very very big unaelewa kama kuna watu wa rafi ni watu wa marekani especially wazugu everywhere wanakura wanakura there is thousands of restaurants thousands and thousands. in fact millions of restaurants zimejaa marekani kuonyesha watu wanapenda kukura uh, the main thing wanapenda wanapenda kukura baga uh, but one thing utaliarize na biashara za marekani is specializing unaelewa hakuna wale watu wanakuwa very successful sio jack of all trades ni specializing so tuseme kama wewe biashara yako ni ya kupika burgers na chips ama fries you focus on that ukiangalia kama hizi 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 ni ni kubwa companies kubwa kama akina Burger King, McDonald hizo zote they focus on just the staff unajua nikienda McDonald ninapata burger na fries unaelewa na maybe two drinks sitaenda nipate wamepika nyama ya buzi sijui motura no they specialize on that so one thing about marekani is specialization una specialize na one thing unaweza chukua one thing unaweza kuwa unaweza kaka kibada tu na uza madazi na chai so hizi madazi utazitengeneza in different ways na chai in different ways so watu wakijua wanakuja kwako wanakuja tu kufanya nini kununua chai na madazi there is a lot of coffee shops uh na zina specialize na coffee americans they are so in love na coffee so kama uko Kenya na ulitengeneza ka recipe uko na ka recipe ka coffee ama uko na coffee ulitoa wapi and you know umepea watu na wamekunywa wanauliza imetoka wapi that one is needed na in fact those places zinauza coffee ni tu vitu tu dogo yani yani ka kibada ka dogo kabisa na watu wana drive through hapo unawa unawategenezea coffee alafu wanaenda making millions of money So na jumla nasikianga tu Starbucks. Starbucks iko na competition. Miji unapata kuna baby mama's coffee, early morning coffee, lazy bone coffee, sijui bikini espresso. Kwa hiyo bikini espresso inakuaga ni, ni siato. So kuna siku moja nilikuwa amepitia hapo kufa kununua coffee. Sikuwa ninajua zina exist. So kupurova yani 
Musiana alikuwa uchi kabisa uchi wa mnyama so bikini expresso tafadhali kama umesikiza ukisikiza hii video na ni wewe mama uko Marekani usikubali mzee wako asikize hii video yangu sababu atakuaga na shida bikini expresso unaangalia uh, box treatment yake na shida kinunua kofi sababu anapata free show so hiyo bikini expresso ni venye inaitwa kuna msichana kwa uchi na ana serve ana serve nini ana serve kofi hiyo ndio nini ya Washington Washington state mnaelewa hizo roho zao za kukauchi uchi ziko very ziko very relax sio kama state zingine uh, kuligana venye nimeona ni Washington as long as hakuna mtu atafeel offended unaweza unaweza hata ride bike yako kama una guo na si wabi wa Kenya muanze ku ride bike bila guo mgoje kuna state zingine zinakuwa gana naked bike ride mnaweza ida huko muendeshe uh, yes watu wanaendesha ga bike wakiwa uchi kwa hiyo naked bike ride. So kuna hiyo bikini expresso uh, na ina watu wengi. Kuna so many so many coffee places imeja Marekani. It's just crazy. Ukienda maduka, variety ya coffee from all over the world ziko mingi. Americans wako crazy about coffee. Na unaona uto tuduka tume specialize tu na coffee peke yake. Kuna tuduka tuingine tume specialize na donuts. Donuts ni kama madazi. Wanauza, wanaitagwa Dunkin Donuts. Hao kazi yao ni donuts. Unaelewa? Kuna kaduka kingine niliyedaga yani kameka sana zinaitagwa ma, ma, Moment Pops. <laughs> ni duka kama za za nini za kina guka hivyo. Imeka. Kazi yao wana specialize tu kupuka, kupika donuts, all types of donuts na cookies. Hiyo ndio kazi yao. Na watu uja hapo Americans wanapenda sukari. Anything ina sukari. So kama wewe unajua skills zako unaweza tengeneza madonuts ama nini ndio hiyo. So but uh, biashara ya kupika anything you can think of but Americans burgers uh, ikikuja ni kuku. Let me tell you Americans kuku wana kuwa gana wazimu na especially ukikuwa na karesi pika fried chicken. Nivo recipe ya fried chicken ni hivyo watakula watakuwa unawejaga unaona kakipada kadogo on a saturday morning saa 2 au watu wanaamkaga asubuhi wana wanalaga wakikula wanaamka wakikula kuna shida waka kakipada na nikakipada kachafu yani wamezunguka hapo kakipada wanagojea wasaviwe hiyo fried chicken unaelewa so kama unajua huko Nairobi kuna mali ndogo kuna fried chicken na ukasema this is your best na shida hapo. Enda uoke na watu huko uchukue hiyo recipe. Unaelewa? Wengine watakubali kukupea but enda uone hata kama itabidi ukwe haya duko ndio ujue hiyo recipe ni gani. Alafu ui ui ui, ui make it even better. Ukikuja Marekani hiyo recipe wewe kama ni kufugua nataka kufugua place ya fried chicken. Potianos fried chicken na una specialize na hiyo Americans wataja wakiona fried chicken they will come na what they how they do the reason biashara za Americans zinakonga successful is because of return customers ha huh? so do you know na biashara nyingi tusema ukiwa Kenya they might not be successful sema mtu anauza guo online kwa Facebook ama whatever anauza anakosa kuwa successful sababu watu wakikununulia they don't come back but Americans return customer alaf loyalty i'm telling you they are so loyal unaelewa hata kiti tuwa vibaya watarudi hapo as long as kenye una wasab unaelewa they take their food personally yani it's like a family member chakula kwa american is like a fellow family member so ikikuja ni fried chicken they will be coming na wata return wataita kile watabia fred oh man know this fried chicken somewhere street nini nini unajua ya kizungu azigina msijali kizungu yuko kaukuta inakujaga na na seasons so they will tell their friends about your fried chicken yako utieno fried chicken eh eh omtata fried chicken unaelewa so there is a specialization you go any restaurant anything at kenyan dishes wale wakenya wako na restaurant huku they very successful. Naelewa? Uh, they are serving not only 
Yes, unaweza sema wana target Kenyans, but in reality a majority of what wanaenda kukula huko wana repeat is mostly Americans. Once they taste your food na wanajua a hey, kopoa, boom. You don't need you don't need to do much. Wewe unaendelea kupika na customer service poa watakuwa na flock. You gonna have to hire more staff sababu wenye watakuwa wengi. So kama unataka kuanzisha biashara, any food business uh una breakfast kama unajua kupika mayai vizuri uh, kama unajua kupika kuku kama unajua we unajiaminia ati hakuna mtu anaweza kupika madazi kama zako ama pancakes kama zako unajua kuna mtu yani anaweza kushida chai unaelewa hakuna mtu anaweza kushida chapati ama keki then america will open the doors for you dream yako itakuwa realized and once we gain tracking umeka biashara Americans watakuja they might not know it but once they know it nivo they will flock up utakuwa unashangaa so food business if you want to do that uh, yes there are so many challenges but hey si itakuwa ni passion yako sasa utakuwa unapika bure utakuwa unapika na unalipwa so that is one of the businesses so Nitachukulia hapo ikikuja ni mabiashara ni migi mazee there are so many so many businesses uh, siwezi maliza but utaongea sababu sio kila mtu anataka kuandikwa kazi it's not kwa hired kwa bio oh fanya hivi oh chukua 5 minutes break na 5 minutes break hiyo 5 minutes inaanza kujihesabu kienda kuchukua break so by the time unafika break room hizo 5 minutes zimeisha ni kurudi kazi so na kuna watu they don't wanapendi kwa bill what to do wanataka on your work with the boss so america is for you kama wewe ni business head it will serve you better so tutaogea tutaogea kuhusu biashara na kama una maswali unaweza uliza uh, nitawaambia zile biashara nimeona lakini hapo kwanza tume touch touch makuku makuku na the, the existing businesses is make even better Uh, tutaogea also kusu kuna biashara kuna place ingine inaitwa inaitwa Chick-fil-A tutaogea kusu business model yao na kwa nini they are so successful uh, marekani uh, and why why bona wana, wana sta, they stand above the rest in terms of their customer service it's it's a very nice experience and wana rekin millions of money na wana kuanga wamefuka sande uh, for religious purposes so hizo zote zitaongea so mara nyingine nimeshapa marekani watu wangu